If you're working much with your computer, you're probably used to the thousands of distractions that are waiting for you online. It doesn't matter if it's the next YouTube video, flicking through your emails the 20th time for today, or just randomly searching stuff that you actually don't need to know. It's pretty hard to control what is going on online, but there's one thing that we actually can control, and that is our desktop. A structured approach here can make the difference between having a great and productive day and one that is completely wasted fighting against your own chaos. So in the week without internet that I had in one of the last videos, I thought about a way to modify my desktop so that it aids my workflow instead of inhibiting it. And that actually works quite fine so far, so I thought I'd better make a video about it and let you know how you can improve your workflow. Please excuse the short change in scenery, there's a lot going on inside. Right now, the family of my girlfriend is visiting, so the living room is busy and we are better off in the outdoor office. But let's get back to making your desktop a bit more productive. I'm, in this case, not speaking about any app you're supposed to download and use or any program that helps. It's more about a slight visual modification of your desktop that can actually make a difference. During the past years, I tried to keep everything as minimal as possible. So I went to a stock photo website, chose a picture with a lot of negative space and tried to keep my desktop generally free of any folders or download files. With this strategy, I ended up being super organized. Every file and download that I had ended up in the correct folder and generally my desktop was super clean. The problem is just that I often film footage here and there that I plan to use in some of my lighter projects and as soon as I put them in the folders that aren't on my desktop, I basically lose track of them. Without that visual reminder, there's just simply too much going on to remember every single shot that I did in the past and how I could use it in a project here and there. I'm also the guy that is actually having different color post-its in addition to my actual journal in order to keep track of major and minor to-do lists. So I basically needed to make a desktop that visually represents the different stages of my workflow so that I could categorize the folders that I have rather than losing track of them. I know that characterizing your workflow is highly individual, but for me as a creator, it worked pretty well if I had something that includes the data source, the workflow, and my project results. And this is what I ended up with. I hope you haven't expected a design prize winning outlay or the next million dollar idea, but this little change made a severe impact on my workflow and how I can keep my mind structured. So why not investing five minutes to just give it a try? To create this custom desktop, I basically just went into Photoshop and first imported a pretty minimalistic background that I could do some work on. To begin with, I split the background in three equal parts according to the three categories that my workflow consists of. If you would like to do something similar, just head over to View and select New Guide Layout. Now you can select the certain amounts of columns and rows that you would like to split your picture into. Just make sure to set the width to zero and hit OK. The blue lines that you now see on your background are the imaginary lines that your picture is split into. To make the three parts a bit visually different, I just selected three different color fills that I adjusted the opacity of and masked them out over each individual part. Once that was done, I used the rectangle tool to make three similar rectangles in each of the boxes that I could use to sort the folders into. Well, in one I masked out a little bit just to make it a bit more visually appealing. The last step was just to decide the three different names for the three different stages of my workflow and to keep that a bit simple, I just went with sources, work and results. As you see, this is by far no rocket science and it's easy and quick to do, but despite being such a simple thing, it was one of the ideas that helped me the most in a while. I ended up using the sources page for an idea folder as well as folders for different projects where I started filming some footage and just had to store it somewhere intermediately. The work page for me is meant for project files, things that I'm already working on and general organization. In the results section, I'm storing all of my social media content, be it for Instagram or YouTube and all the project results that I haven't published so far. Especially the results section turned out to be quite useful as there is something rewarding to it if you move a folder from the sources or work page to the results section. This takes a bit of the desire of wanting to publish everything as quick as possible after finishing a project to get some reward from our online world and in this way you're actually able to focus on the long term and the work that is lying ahead of you. 
Once I finalize a project, I often have the tendency to fall into this creative hole, not knowing what to do next. And in that regard, the sources page seemed to be quite useful as I can fall back to it and see what ideas I had in the past and what might be the best logical next step. As a little add-on, I also added a few books into that section. For example, the DaVinci Resolve manual, one of the most interesting ones, and a book about photo composition that I could just read on and get some inspiration if I'm really not having any ideas. So that's it for this week. This was a rather quick tip, but it's simple, easy to do, and it helped me a lot. So I hope it can help you too. If you enjoyed this kind of content, as always, make sure to leave a like, comment on the videos, and subscribe to the channel. That helps me a lot. So far, we're on a good way of finally making YouTube a full-time job for me, which was my desire for this year. We're pretty far away though, but I'm full of hope. I'll see you next week.